Um, yeah, thanks very much. Um, real honour to be here. I know everyone says that, but it really does feel like an honour. Um, I'd like to thank Tom, James, Scott for inviting me. Um, yeah, in football terms, a bit like playing Wembley, obviously. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm going to start with, um, it's an extract from a longer poem, um, and it's called um, Spain Types of Terrorism. Um, and really what I was exploring here was um, uses and abuses of the word terrorism. Um, so the poem takes the form of kind of parody, dic um, encyclopedia, dictionary entries. So spend types of terrorism. Type two, time. A dimension in which events can be ordered from the past through the present into the future and also the measure of durations of events and the intervals between them. History of time measurement devices. The Ministry of Time currently defines time in conceptual terms, according to how much you work, allowing recategorization of people as not working enough and the deserving rich. It was felt that all other time measurement devices, e.g. sundials, as well as being disappointingly single function, lacked the requisite moral underpinning. <laughs> Philosophy. Contrasting viewpoints on time divide many prominent philosophers. The Glas Vedas, the earliest text of Glaswegian philosophy, described the universe going through repeated cycles of creation, destruction and rebirth, with each cycle lasting a Friday night. <laughs> they, they describe in detail time as a mental construct involving the seamless segue of Harold Melvin's The Love I Lost and Al Wilson's The Snake. In book 11 of his Obsessions, Saint Adonine of Ditto ruminates on the nature of time, asking, what then is time? What when is crime? What can is wine? Rot fen is rhyme. <laughs> a non-realist view of time was outlined by Dooney and the Discotes in the 1970s. Dooney argued that for the most part, the laws of physics did not specify an arrow of time, allowing any process to proceed both forwards and in reverse, but allowed both processes to be performed simultaneously, especially when wearing caftans, hot pants, boots and mascara. He, she said, most of the volume of the universe at any given time was inflating, with all models of eternal inflation producing an infinite multiverse, typically a fractal, the mathematical modelling of cracks in space-time. Evidence for this could be seen when the quantum gravity foam started coming down, each leading to a bubble universe as reflected in the mirror ball. <laughs> Free time. A. A shadowy continuation of labour. B. Something that involves DIY. <laughs> Do it yourself. A. Refers to the method of building, modifying or repairing something without the aid of experts or professionals. B. That time of year when you've run out of clowns and servants. C. A skill set including and consisting of picking your nose, playing idly with tweezers or the moti, or staring into space, vaping, popping bu bubbles on the bubble wrap of your citrus fruit, undergoing surgery for split ends, playing Rome Turtle War, football manager on your computer, sharing pictures of that wedding on your phone, captioned photos of you and your mate gurning at the Leeds Festival just before the tent went up in smoke, indelicately or not so indelicately breaking wind, coughing, laughing, faffing, walking into the ledge of the bed and banging your sore knee yet again on that self-same spot, speculating on the next big breakthrough in nuclear physics, watching angels land in the Trafford Centre, aliens walk calmly out of the non-gender assigned toilets in Area 51, gouging the crap out from under your nails, manscaping your eyebrows, nasal hair, pubic hair, while making yourself look like a lip-smacking vampire, lizardy but cumberbatch, trying out the crop fleece look, or looking for something altogether more spiral bound, or creating sentences that start a skill set, including and consisting of picking your notes, playing idly with freezers or the peyote, or flaring into space, craping, slopping troubles on the trouble map of your witless brute, 
undergoing perjury for spit bends, playing foam scrotal bore, footfall parameter on the commuter, scaring mixtures of the shredding on the bone, rationed strictures of you and your states churning at the bleeds festival just before the dent went pop in yoke, hesitantly or not so hermetically, flaking skins, gothing, graphing, fanning, hawking into the alleged of the dread and fanging your spore pee yet again on that self flame blot insulating on the next big slate flu in roomier lyrics, scotching label sand in the hazard centre, radiance gawk hardly out of the non-render aligned boilets in malaria thrifty pun, grouting the clap out from under your snails, van scraping your dry ploughs, appraisal stair, cubic chair, while making yourself crook like a drip stacking sandfire, gizzardy, but number scratch, trying out the flop flop crease look, or looking for something altogether more viral wound, or awaiting repentances. Lost time. Making up lost time can cost you your life and the lives of others. Making up time means envisaging it as consisting of spends, the number after six, but with a missing E. Time is experienced in this way, as slowed down, or temporarily suspended by the mind-numbing boredom of the spectacle you are watching and as involving an increasing awareness of no plan B. Type 4. It's all about bread. The 12 remaining contenders begin by attempting to create 36 perfectly thin and crispy breadsticks. For the technical challenge, they have to prepare a batch of English muffins before ending with their best loaves. Watch out for the special psychic octopus tribute loaf, because Azim made it happen with an A in citizenship, Christina made it happen with spa therapies, Carrie with hospitality, because every day after racing in the Argentaria classic yacht regatta, we met the crew at the Gelateria for ice cream. My favourite was ricotta and fig, because you too could be the proud owner of a pop-up, fully flexibilised job as a writer of the occasional thought for the day on the digital message board near the Haydock roundabout on the westbound stretch of the East Lanes. Because that thought might be, for a quick fish dish, why not try razor clams with saffron mayonnaise? Because the book of tasty and healthy food for food bank users, celebrating the abundance and joy of capitalist living, has just been updated because eating cheese and chips out of a styrofoam container just doesn't cut it when you can just pop down to the market and buy 10 mange too. Because these days, it's so easy to fill your house with stuff sourced for free. And with a shed better equipped than NASA, a couple of spare garages and several days to kill, you can transform a car engine into a bespoke coffee table slash earring slash doorstop slash paperweight slash garlic brusher. Because karaoke, Diane's Sunday roast and event parking have all failed to save the drum because the man carrying a Morrison's bag and wearing no shoes walking down Rybank Road was later seen sitting on the pavement resting his bare feet because black holes don't just swallow, they spit because information is not erased from the universe but leaks back into the event horizon because the sofas at sofa.com really are exceptionally crumbly we sit on ours with great granularity <laughs> so next I'm going to do um, something shorter um, I'm going to read a few poems from a uh, a uh, sequence of kind of crack sonnets, um, do a lot of these. This is the seventh sequence by my reckoning. Um, this is a, basically, this is a sequence called Blob Attention. Um, the starting point for each sonnet is a style of architecture. Um, and basically I'm kind of crashing, colliding text from different sources. Um, blob Attention, by the way, um, it's an example would be Guggenheim, Bill Battle. Um, blob Attacher. Breaking Bad Week. I lost my paunch by visualising chocolate as raw liver covered in hair. The new pound stretcher as a female silhouette. A chainmail dress by Paco Rabanne from dusk till pawn. But what is your brand essence? Said the biscuit moment to the too fast dissolving rich tea. Uh oh. 
The word of mouth is rapid churn from doll to low pay and back to wrist-borne tracking devices in the free-from range. Said the grinning green iguana of Gove with a venom that could freeze and burn the frock toes in toes. In disguised form, the repressed returns, blobby and amoeba shaped. Brutalist. I heard metal crunching. They found the biting point between the roof and the door. The exploded links took out the double glazing and the floorboards. But do we appreciate the honesty? The answer was a bit blocky, if not raw concrete. You internalise the rules. Any person leaving the frame at which they are working should be fined one framed narrative or given an atomic wedgie by owners of the fat fuck noodle bar. You had to admire the, need, the leader's passion. It was his detailed love of life in the 18th century, a glass harmonica used to mesmerise in seances. The building was all controlled substances. The eerie melodies induced convulsions in the residents. Fascist. Feeling under the weather, asked the bank pun alert, unveiling the monster building for mass experiences of getting knocked about a bit. At the rally, the big god quiz started with pictures of the blood flag and an angel with six arms. My heart is a wiffle ball, she said, and you are the chosen one. Far from being a floating cottage, the ark was round, part of a short story about drainage. Just as necessary has one clown and two sugar daddies, especially if you have a student loan. The family resemblance to total government was striking. A country reshaping as islands, a series of interconnected lakes. Futurist. Bang Ding Ao came out a different person hurtling into a tale of two middle classes and multiple exclamation marks. Swallowed by a sinkhole while lying in bed, Noah's body was never recovered. No one knew whether his genitals might offer a clue in the fight against cancer. But was the friend who visited the night before electric? The hotels inspired by the crack halls who make this city unique contended with the clowns struggling to find work. Buried in a burgundy coffin with Costa on the side and the text, one shot, extra hot skinny latte, the past was not alone. The Klingons could no longer cling on to their relative statuses. The wigs, makeup and tiny cars frightened the kids. Right, I'm going to um, move on to uh, a longer poem again. Um, this is a poem I've just written, um, and it really came out of the experience, strangely, of buying car insurance through the website comparethemarket.com. So as soon as you do that, you get referred to comparethemearcat.com, and strangely, you're eligible for a free meerkat toy. Um, my stepdaughter loves these, so I ordered Alexander. Um, and the day after, I'm getting email updates on the progress of this toy meerkat on its journey across Europe to my home in Manchester. And I'm in this kind of virtual relationship with a fictional animal. Um, so that really got me thinking about the... Here we go, name dropping, Baudrillard, um, Desert of the Real. Um, the other idea that was really in my mind while I was writing this was the way in which, was to do with the way in which language can be used to make anything cute and cuddly, even dictatorships. So I'm going to come in, come in at this poem round about the middle. Um, um, so I'm going to let you skip the first part of the journey. Um, and this is the moment where Alexander meets Maya for the first time. They fall in love, obviously. <laughs> 35. It was at a fairground. Test your strength. She was the first beer cat who was stronger than him. 
the way she used her tail as a stabiliser device when doing parkour across a, a row of parked cars was mink. 36, she was a teacher, but as was clear from the way she could parachute out of the side of a plane in an abstract expressionist painting at a moment's notice, she had been a double agent. 37, we can neither confirm nor deny this is our first tweet. 38, everything Maya said to him had this double voiced quality. It depended on your frame. He always ended up comparing what she said with its alternative and carrying out a cost-benefit analysis in his head. Often when confronted by tough decisions, which were data light, he just flipped a coin. 39. So for example, she would say, we need to hand the service back to the people that matter. 40. Do you mean patients or private businesses? 41. I mean leaner spanks, whips and wallops, taste buds that other ginger beers merely tickle. <laughs> but Maya, leaner implies lesser, weakened, reduced, and dare I say it in front of someone so beautiful, asset stripped. 43, <laughs> no, you don't understand. Try leniency, lineage, org lean, lenacious, dignity lean. Lean Crete, Lean Juice, Epilene, Leanergy, Leanet, Lean Flit, Lean Flux, Leanify, Leanful, Lean Grass, Leaniatry, Leanile, Leanism, Libeline, Leveline, Magnoline, Leanate, Leanomy, Omnilene, Ortholene, Philoline, Lean Spur, Lean Spire, Lean Tints, Lean Taut, Valley Lean. 44. Just as elaborate nose scratching causes rainfall. 45. You have to go a long way to get rid of snails. 46. For the literal reader, the fact Mirkovo, Alexander's birthplace, doesn't exist, either A adds to the endearing charm of the narrative, or B confirms the Horizon Planning Unit failed to see the floating bar, or C shows Molly won't win, but nor will she humperdink. 47. The author of CompareTheMeerCat.com is often described as an enigma hiding inside a parenthesis, or a digital recluse reclusing inside the cloud closet. His family were working class, and disapproved of both punctuation and technology. 48. He wrote his masterpiece and then retired from public life completely, holding his wedding in an Italian castle once owned by the Medicis and creating a blended name for him and his partner, Camille.com. 49. Her whiskery face also reminded him of his granny. 50. I come from the land of A, hunger, B, thunder, or C, down under, and carry much baggage, says Maya. Many want me dead. I am a refugee from La Longue, a linguistic migrant. You have a choice. 51. Choice always fascinated him. In his mind, the words reconfigured as choiceless, vacuum choice, circum choice. Presumed choice, recti choice. He says, I'm not sure I care to. 52. Is that care, as in discare, malcare, care eyed, simul care, or care upt? 53. She'd done it again. She wasn't negating his frame so much as creating a better one. She was refusing his language. 54. How can I possess such a mind, thinks Alexander, at the beginning of a conscious uncoupling of words, meaning when teddy bears that survived the trenches, the one with eyes mounted high up on the face for looking out at you from uniform pockets have increased in value. 55, I got plumes, babe. 56, rigid, bolted, he fixes her with a vulpine leer, or was it a lupine veer? 57. 
Alexander later learns Maya is an anglicisation of Mayakovsky. She is related to the Russian formalist critic who argues a word's meaning depends on its oos, Scottish, in origin. 58. Manipulating thousands of pixelated prefixes and suffixes into a scrunchie, they become a couple. As happens all too often, the game spills over into reality. Thank you very much.